If you produce audio or video using your iPad or your iPhone, you've probably come across issues with transferring large audio and video files between your iPad and iPhone and your other devices like your Mac or your PC or an external USB drive. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I've found as the easiest way to transfer files between a Mac or a PC and your iPad and your iPhone. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And if you are producing music or video using your iPad or your iPhone, you've probably come across the same problem that I often have, which is that you've got a heap of big files, your big WAV files or MPEG-4 files for your video and you want to transfer those either from your Mac or your PC or a USB drive plugged in over to your iPad or your iPhone or vice versa, you've got big files on your iPad or your iPhone you want to transfer over. So in this video, I'm going to show you the very cool Wi-Fi drive function that we have in the AudioShare app, which can help you solve this exact problem. Let's jump in and take a look now. Here we are in AudioShare on my iPad. Now, AudioShare is a very cool application. It costs $2.99 US or whatever your currency exchange equivalent is in your part of the world. And what it is, is it's an application that helps you share your audio between different applications on your device. But it also has a very cool feature and my favorite feature, which is the Wi-Fi drive, which is what we're gonna show you in this video. But just a little bit of a background, what AudioShare also has is if we look down the bottom here, it has an audio recording recorder, which is a high quality audio recorder, which we'll be covering in more detail in a future video. We also have the ability to copy and paste audio directly into audio share from other apps, which is very cool. And our fourth function along here is our import function. So we can import from Dropbox, our music library and our document picker, which means anything that's in our files app in iOS 11 or iOS 12, that's anything on our device, anything in our iCloud drive or anything on any other cloud storage platform that we have linked, we can bring into audio share so we can get a lot of our audio into audio share but the question is how do we get it out how do we get it over to our mac or our pc and then on the flip side how do we bring audio back in or even video or other files back in via audio share into our ipad or iphone so that's what we're going to have a look at right now so to access our Wi-Fi drive option, we tap on the blue button down here and up pops Wi-Fi drive. To enable it, all we need to do is tap on the button there. And what you'll notice is that down below, we now have an IP address and a local address here that has been created by AudioShare. And this is the address that we're gonna put into our Mac or our PC on our local wireless network. Now you might be thinking, is this using the internet? Am I gonna to have to use data? Is it gonna be slow? No, you're using your local local Wi-Fi network. So it will be as secure as your wireless network is. So make sure that you have a secure wireless network, but that's just good advice regardless of this. But what we can now do is we can log in to these addresses on our Mac or our PC and start transferring files. So let's take a look at that right now. I'm here now in Google Chrome on my PC, but you can use any web browser and any Mac or PC, laptop, desktop, it doesn't matter as long as you are on the same wireless network as your iPad or your iPhone. So all we need to do now is click in the bar at the top here and enter the address that we have there. So let's use the Airhead, which is the name of my iPad here. So we just need to go to this address here with one extra one there, which is airhead.local. We hit enter and what's gonna happen here is it's going to now connect to the Wi-Fi server that's been set up by AudioShare on my iPad. And there you go. You can see there that we have a mirror of the files that we have. The ones that we have over here on our iPad are now mirrored here in our web browser. So we can now download these to our PC and we can add files from our PC to AudioShare. So let's show you how to do that right now. So the options that we have here in this web browser is that we can upload files by clicking on the button here. We can create a new folder. We can refresh if it hasn't synced between the iPad or the iPhone and our PC. And then as you look down here, you'll notice that we have these buttons here. So we can actually download each of these files. So if we wanted to download, say my mastered GOATS5 file here, all we need to do is click on the download button and down the bottom of our web browser, it's gonna say it's starting to download or wherever it actually says in your web browser, it'll just download that to your default location that's set up in your settings for your web browser. So you can download any of these files and it's a really quick way to get your mastered versions of your songs or any large video files, which you can also use AudioShare for, to transfer across to your Mac or your PC. 
any of your folders, like the iTunes file sharing folder, we can click that and it will actually open that. And then at the top here, you can see you can navigate between the different levels. So let's click back to Airhead and we'll go back to our root folder here on the iPad. To upload files or to transfer them from our Mac or our PC over to our iPad or iPhone, we click on, not surprisingly, the Upload Files button. And now we can actually select what files we want to send across. So I can now come into my PC. So if we click my PC, we're going to go to any of my drives. So if you've got any other drives that are set up here, so say you've got a USB drive plugged in or an external hard drive, anything that your computer can see, you can send across here. So we can actually come in and we can just select files. So let's just uh, send this album arc cover. For instance, we tap on open or click on open and there it goes. It's now going to upload that and it's sent it straight across. And if we check over here, we've now got that album cover over here on our list of files. Now it won't show any audio for it when we tap on it, but we can actually just store other files. So that's something to keep in mind is it's not only the uh, audio files that we can use this for, we can transfer any file type and then with the power of audio share, we can send them over to our files apps, to our video editing software, to anywhere else that we want to use them. The other way that we can upload our files is to just navigate using Windows Explorer or the Finder on your Mac and we can select a file here and then just click and drag it over and release and there it's going to now send it over. So it'll be a file copy and again, it's pretty quick because it's gonna be as fast as your wireless signal. So the Wi-Fi network that you have, it's not using anything outside of that, it's not using the internet. So it can actually transfer those files pretty quickly. And there you go, there's the whole WAV file transferred. If we look over here on the left on our uh, iPad, then there it is. So there is our Bully Master file ready to play back and to play it. All we need to do is hit the play button here. And we're ready to go and we can even use all of our cool tools that we have here in Audio Share, which we'll be covering in more detail in a future video. But how quick is that and how easy is that to get that across from our Mac or our PC over to our iPad and then to send files from our iPad or iPhone over to our Mac or our PC. And remember, anything that's connected up to your external USB devices, anything that's a flash drive or a hard drive, you can just navigate to it and copy directly from those as well. There you go, the very cool Wi-Fi drive function here in Audio Share. It has definitely changed the way that I manage my files and I can now transfer files in and within seconds, I'm up and running. I'm editing videos, I'm editing and importing audio. It is very super cool. So the Audio Share app available on the App Store. Head over to the App Store, search Audio Share. Once again, it's $2.99 US. It's about $4.99 here in Australia and it will depend on where you are in the world as to how much it costs. But it's a very worthwhile investment and in future videos, we'll be diving in and exploring even more that the wonderful audio share application can do. There you go, my recommendation for transferring those big and cumbersome files. But I want to hear from you. What recommendations do you have? Is there an easier way? Are there better devices and better applications out there that can help you transfer your files? Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you on the next video.